to God as part of it. I'm really enjoying the devotion we have as a family. My grandchildren, as we all sit together as a family, we go around reading the word of God. So we are reading the book of Psalms. Now we are up to Psalms 44, 44. or 43. And uh, we try and read all the chapters. And as we do, they're being tasked to write three uh, verses that we identify. And after, after we read the whole chapter and we talk about the chapter. So we ask, okay, you know, if you're reading through the chapter or if you, when you're hearing uh, all this uh, Bible reading tonight, which you would consider to be your memory verse or which you would consider to be memorized or you, for you to say, okay, I can memorize that. It means something to me. And we identify that. And after we identify it, so they're being tasked every day uh, to write three Bible verses from there except Sunday. And when they do, so we challenge them. Try and learn at least one. Memorize it and have it in your heart. It's very important to have the Word of God. Hallelujah. Because that Word of God, it becomes your pillow. Without you knowing, children, and even for adults, without you knowing, just by memorizing the Word of God, and so full of the Word of God, it automatically gives you confidence without you knowing. The word of God brings so much confidence and boldness in your heart that you cannot learn in any secular. That word of God automatically, you know, just bring about boldness that it cannot be taught um, in any secular, I believe that. Because you are so bold and you are not defined by your spirit. Like if you're looking and people around you, you don't even fear or step back because of that bonus. Nothing to do with you in the physical essence or the way that you are created. Yep. No, it's all to do with the power of the word of God. Because when you have that in your heart, Holy you can man. face anything and you can meet anything. Be a pressure, maybe in your school or be a pressure in the workplace for us who work. And sometimes you feel so, you know, like... Okay, uh, those people are not talking to me. But when you have the word of God and you're so confident in your worshiping him and you're so confident of him, Hallelujah. you can care less who they are. Because you know you are defined by God's word and you are de defined by him. You are not defined by the people around you. So stand up and know and take on the word of God. Those of you that are still waiting for your interview or those of you that are waiting for your results and uh, you know, after school you're looking around. Don't ever think that that's it. You know, you think to yourself, okay, my marks is this set. I lack two or three, or I lack five marks to qualify. You know that five marks, you know that God can do, still perform his miracles. So you trust him completely. Hallelujah. Whatever Hallelujah. you lack, you trust him. Mm. Whatever you don't have, you trust him. He's going to do that for you. Hallelujah. Not you, he will do it for you. Yes. All you need to do is to believe in him and completely trust him. I've always shared about my grandson. I'll ask uh, Ishan, Ishan, just come up, baby. This is my grandson that I always uh, share most of the time. And I'm blessed with Israel. Uh, Israel joined, my, joined me or to come and actually physically stay with us about four or five years ago. And, uh, and this is the, my grandson that I've always shared. When he came in uh, with his uh, school results and everything, was not normal for me. Uh, I've never seen those in my children, and I've never seen those in my uh, grandson that are staying with me for Joshua. And when I saw that uh, in my heart, I didn't want to accept it. In my heart, I said, oh, no, yeah. I will not allow that to define Israel. I will never allow that. So we worked together. I said, Israel, you need to pray. You need to read the word of God. And you need to believe that you can. You can make it. For the straight four to five years, until now he's in year eight, now going on to year nine. All I was doing was investing in paying for tutorial. I look for any tutorial available. I try and get his current teacher to pay him Hallelujah. or pay her uh, extra hours just for Israel to go and have lessons. And sometimes maybe Israel doesn't tell his nana, but I think he doesn't like the fact that I'm just pulling him out. And like tutorial can be between two different teachers, but yet Israel, I expect Israel to go. And all those years and every time, sometimes I get frustrated when I continue to see the result. But I refuse to accept that Israel is going to be that way. I teach my grandchildren on how to do tithe, on how to write their envelopes. And his uh, tithe envelope, I'll always see because he's also my grandson with a rheumatic heart disease. And he, in his, on his envelope, he's always writing, uh, God to heal my RHD and also his placement for year nine. And every year I'm telling him, Israel, I need you to follow suit with your brothers. Because if you cannot, I will be paying a lot of money to send you to private school. And I will need you to help me. And every time, sometimes we have our good moments, sometimes we have our bad moments, and sometimes we have our crying moments. And... Um